Last time in Night City. Through Mr. Hands, a fixer in Pacifica District, a proper meeting was set up with the Voodoo Boys, the Haitian and Dominican gang in the area. He told us to meet our contact inside of a chapel where a funeral procession was going on, who then directed us to go meet Placide, one of the top guys in the group, and he wanted us to do a job for them before agreeing to introduce us to Brigitte, the woman who hired Evelyn to steal the biochip in the first place. We were to sneak into the local abandoned mall to confront a gang called the Animals and to see who hired them. V sneaked inside and took down the leader of the Animals, a woman called Sasquatch. Further in the cinema, he found a Netwatch agent who had frozen the leader of the Voodoo Boys, Brigitte. He offered to remove the voodoo virus that Placid installed into V and offered to make a deal with him, claiming that they were just going to turn on him anyway. Back with the voodoo boys, Placid and V confronted each other, but Brigitte, who is now awake, calmed the situation down. She was more interested in the biochip in V's head and guided him underground where their Netrunner crew were operating out of. She sought to contact Alt, one of the most talented Netrunners in Night City, and she happened to be the girlfriend of Johnny Silverhand. That's when more memories of Johnny Silverhand were accessed. She was kidnapped and Johnny was nearly killed, but he was saved by a media guy called Thompson. Together, they planned to rescue Ald, and they went to the afterlife to talk to Rogue. There, he also met Santiago, another merc, and they both agreed to join Johnny. Arisaka attacked and pursued them, but they were able to get away. That's when Johnny set up a diversion, and they were able to sneak inside of the Arisaka Tower, but in their way to where Alt was at. But her consciousness was already gone. Back in the net, Brigitte spoke to V about their goals to break through the Black Wall, a virtual wall that was meant to keep rogue AIs from moving beyond it. Alt, who now dwelled in the net as an AI, was going to be their tool to do this, but unfortunately for Brigitte and her net runners, they were all fried whenever Netwatch was trying to use them to track down Alt. Alt said she was unable to help V separate his consciousness from Johnny's unless they had a higher level of technology than they had access to currently, which they could find in a place called Mikoshi. That's when V came back to reality and had to find through the remaining voodoo boys, killing Placide in the church before finally being free of them. We also went to go meet with Takimura at a secluded place, and he introduced us to Oda, the bodyguard of Hanako Arasaka, the only daughter of the late Saburo Arasaka. Takimura revealed the truth of Saburo's murder at the hands of his own son, but Oda refused to listen. The Arasaka Foundation was also planning to host a giant parade very soon. Takimura is beginning his plans now to sneak into it to where he would be able to talk to Hanako personally. We're off to go visit Judy at her apartment. She gave me a call and wants me to swing by, but first, I'm going to do a job for Regina. She should be calling very soon with more information. There's a cyber psycho right over here. Hold on, let me move on through real quick before I park. There's a dead body, so we'll wait here. Oh, he's got a sniper rifle. You can hear it. Hey, V. The NCPD got a call about a cyber psycho and actually sent a patrol this time. But it's been a few hours with no report back. Either those cops got scared and bounced or... Okay. Anyway, oh, fuck. could you check it out for me? Be much appreciated. Yeah, I can do that. So we're going to have to be careful in how we advance. That poor cop. All right, let's move up. I know what I want to do. It's going to be pretty simple, I think. Why don't we get rid of his weapon? Now, I've got a revolver over here that's able to shoot twice, so it deals a lot of damage. I can certainly try. There we go. I'm gonna do it again. And he's out of here. Right. Let's see what's here. Alright, let's see. You're not dead? You're kidding me. What a tough guy. Yeah, you shot a lot of people, huh? It's not really their fault they go mad. Ah, that's what I need. Alright. So why don't I open that up right now and have a look inside? Is bound to be more information. Rush order urgent. Dan, I need that stuff in my head. I really, really, really need it. I'm out. Starting to think some desperate shit on loop. I know I owe you, but fuck, man. I need it, and I need it today, you know. Gotcha. Over here, foreclosure. Wow. Weren't able to pay for your home. Look at that. Hmm. PTSD shield. Policy lapsed. Due to the termination of your employment at Mercenary Solutions, Inc., your health insurance policy, PTSD Shield, has been canceled effective immediately. Any appointments made prior to this notice have been canceled and any medications have been discarded. We also inform you that you are welcome to use the government's veteran care program. Damn. That's really, really bad. All right. Let's leave again. I've seen all that I need to see right now. Oh, it's Frank. Hey, V. Frank here. Arasaka, remember? Hey, yeah, sure. 
Damn, you old bastard. It's been a while since. Listen to the whole message, please. Abernathy's purging the death. Anybody not 100% with her is out. I'm on her list. No idea why. You know how it is. No prisoners, no dismissals. Not about to sit around, wait for the executioner. I'm putting together a file to fuck up her life. I've got all the documents in a... a hidey hole. If I don't manage to make use of them, you'll get this message. And the cords. I know you'll know what to do with them. Fuck. All right, Frank. Don't mean I'm not gonna find your car right now. I'm busy. Okay, Judy, hold on. There's a few gang members down over here picking on some poor guy. I don't much care for that, you know? Let's get him. All right, I'm down again. And I'm okay. Well, I love this shotgun a lot. Check out that damage. If I move quickly, they're not gonna be able to hit me too often. All right, let's go again. Got him. All right, one more guy to take care of. I'm on fire. Let's patch up. Trying to grenade me, huh? Not today. And he's dead. They're all dead. Yeah, being able to jump around like that makes him very unlikely to hit me, I think. I'll take that too. Any blue items, I'm definitely going to pick up. Anything else is not really too much of a big deal. All right, let's go up now, and finally we can go see Judy. I think she'll understand. I'm here to try to save a few lives, just while I'm able to. I'm actually there to kill people, but if I happen to save lives, great. And that guy did get away. I wonder if Evelyn's okay, though. I mean, she was deeply scarred. We don't know what fully happened to her, but we've got an imagination. It couldn't have been good. Here, let me put my gun away. I don't need my gun out whenever I'm trying to greet a friend. All right, I'm here. Open up. Okay, good. In the bathroom. Uh oh. Fuck. Oh fuck. Bird offs herself to express her undying. Stop talking. I was, I was only gone an hour. How'd this happen? I don't know. I told you. Evie was lying in bed like always when I went out and I got back to fuck if I just known I'd don't blame yourself it won't solve anything I should have sensed something that it was off <laughs> stop couldn't watch you 24 7 she made up her mind would have found a way always Got to do something with her. Don't want any trouble. I'm calling the badges. Can you carry her to the bed? As if that'll change anything. Not sure we should move her before the badges get here. She's just another dead horde of them. Nope, you'll care. The least we can do is treat her with some dignity. I can do that much. Some people are gonna pay. I can tell you that much. Yeah, I, I need to report an accidental death. North side, Jackson Street. No. No imminent danger. <laughs> Suicide. Jamal! No! Today! What part of dead don't you understand? No, she was not pronounced dead by trauma team. If she'd have had coverage, we wouldn't be talking. And fuck you! If you don't want to move your asses, why don't I come down to the precinct and trash it into bits? Now will you come and arrest me, you pussies? Fine, I don't give a fuck what you write me up for. They'll be here soon. <laughs> they told me to keep her on ice until tomorrow. Can you believe the balls? All things considered, you let them off pretty light. Had it been me, they'd have gotten an earful like nobody's biz.
I'd put something on her. I'd rather she look like a person than a body. Could you wait outside? Yeah, I could do that. Close the door, V. Please. I'm a cig. Didn't know you smoked. Uh, quit. It's been years. But right now I need something besides air in my lungs. Please, V, just one. Here. That was her smoke case. Want to hold on to it? You seem to like it. Keep it. Kind of glad it's you that has it, actually. Fuck, Evie. I let her down. I thought if I gave her some space or time, she'd get back on her feet. I don't know what to say. Never was any good at this stuff. Well, you don't need to talk. You did more for her than anyone else. I had a motive to find her, Judy. You know that. It's what you bring that counts. You gave her the freedom to choose. Yeah, maybe. Just never imagined she'd choose this. Her condition, couldn't think about anything else. Tech-wise, she was clean. Doll shard was operational, uncorrupted. So, psychological trauma had to be that. Did some more digging in her virtues, found Woodman. He kept her, had his way with her. The things he did. And once he got bored, he pawned her off. Wait, so you found other recordings? Had another look at the corrupted ones. You know, lots of static. Hard to pick up anything, really. At some point, I stumbled on something like an echo of the spat we'd had. Last time we saw each other. But I know she wasn't scrolling. Then why was it saved as a virtue? Got no explanation for it. Maybe she recalled it later, relived it almost. Implant could have been on when, you know, as a defense mechanism, escaping into the past so as not to live in the present. What did Woodman do to her? Did you see it? Yeah. And I really wish I could unsee it. I had no idea that guy was such a monster. I saw him as your average Trixie sleazebag. It puts on a convincing facade. I knew him, but I never thought him that sick in the brain. Gotta be something I can do about it. Like what? I don't know yet. I think I'll call Sue's. Thanks, V. Sorry, but uh, I'd rather be alone now. Promise to keep in touch. Sure you don't need anything? No, but sweet of you to ask. Anything comes up, holler on the hollow. Okay, let's get out of here now. You know what? Bad time to contact me, Bart Moss Collective. Pretty busy at the moment. We're gonna get a lot more work done and we're gonna hopefully make Woodman pay. I would love to meet him again. That would be great. But right now we just need to leave. I mean, she was scarred deep and Judy did all that she could. She really did. The job is done. There's a lot more I can do right now. Oh man, what a day. Now we can send Regina information about that cyber psycho. 
Our psycho is out cold but conscious, transferring you the data I gathered. Looks like it was an ex-merc working for some corp. As soon as he stopped being useful, they tossed him out on the street. Guy kept his combat implants, had PTSD, stopped taking his meds. You could fill in the blanks. Yeah, there we go. Now, let's go talk to Takimura. Now, I may not be good with names, but I do have quite a talent for faces. Where have I seen yours before? On the TV? Very unlikely. But of course! Hideshi Hino! The man, the legend, in the flesh! Oh, you're just in time. Do you know who this is? Hideshi Hino, the late night comedy host! He was brilliant before he fell off the wagon. Can you still do your famous, better bugger up? No. Come on, you don't forget a thing like that. Just once, please. V, we should go in. Now. I don't know. Hideshi, don't leave this poor guy hanging. No, this is not more. the best time. Truly. Oh, come on. I haven't heard it in years. Oh. Come on. Wow. That was close. He almost recognized me. But a comedian? With your sense of humor? Why not? Agreed. Oh, my sweet. This has got to be a misunderstanding. I've no idea who jumped your team, but the claws? No, never. My boys know their place. I, I'm sorry, got to go. I have guests. V, so nice to see you. And your charming friend is? Happen to be working together. That's all. Takemura Goro desu. Okada-san, oai dekite kohei desu. Ah, a true gentleman. Oh, shame only that he's being hunted by all Arasaka's tin soldiers. And you, V, bring him to my door. Give me one reason why I shouldn't notify the proper authorities right away. Caution. Caution? World's most wanted Japanese fugitives hide now in Night City, and you got nothing to do with it? Please. We know they're thinking. They'll link you to us faster than you can finish puffing on that sig. So tell me, and mark well I still have my phone at hand. Need intel on the parade that's scheduled to come through Japantown. So it's Arasaka. Again. What I fail to understand is, why come to me? Did Mr. Deshaun not come to the phone? Goro, remind me why Dex is fat, backstabbing ass is currently indisposed. He is deceased. Butchered and dumped in a landfill by some Arasaka goon. Real shame that. That a threat I detect? No threat, no. Asked why I couldn't reach Dex, I answered. Just facts, nothing more. Good. Because you would then have to join him. Okada-san, our intentions are honorable. We need just information. It is a matter of life and death. Everything's on the shards. How much does this cost? My pockets are empty. Clearly. My gift to you, it's free. Okada-san. What is free often proves most costly. Gonna take them or not? For free? You sure? Got my reasons, but patience, I got none. Japan Town. Whole district is to be sealed off for the parade. Dashi Platforms, the main attraction. They'll fly this way, high above street level. Along the parade route, balconies, footbridges, and vantage points affording good views. Hanako Arasaka, a guest of honor, will deliver her speech from the largest float. She'll do this exactly here. 
Got no idea about security, but given recent events, expected to be tight. Our last parade? Arasaka undercovers infiltrated the crowd. Not to mention a smattering of sharpshooters, drones. And if that's not enough fun for one day, a net runner, one at least. They use the city CCTV to observe everything. Main access point, here. It's an old automated control center. If you ask me, most useful by far. At the end, the floats will float out of Japantown, and we'll be left with trash up to our elbows that no one will collect. That's it. It's all I have. It must be enough. Then go. Be on your way. Not at all curious what we're going to all this trouble for. Blissful ignorance has served me well. In any case, I'll find out soon. Won't I? Thanks, Wukako. We appreciate this, Okada-san. Alright. Let's get out of here and talk to Takemura. She gave it to us for free. There's always a cost. I wonder what it could be. Alright. Let's go talk to Takemura again about what a happened. delightful, mature woman. This information... It could be just what we need. But I will try to investigate further. I will stay here some time and call some associates. The moment I learn something new, I will let you know. Just low profile, okay? Don't start handing out autographs. In fame, I could not overtake you if I tried. Be safe, B. Yeah, good luck to you, buddy. I've got more work to do. Now, what that work might be, I'm not too sure. There's a gang nearby, and I have not gotten to properly grieve over Evelyn's passing, so I'm going to do that right now. Attention all NCPD subcons. Suspected organized crime activity reported off Willow Street. APB out on one Shinobu Imai, convicted Anyone? on multiple counts of human trafficking and forced labor. City officials are offering a reward for neutralizing Imai's criminal network in the Willow Street area. Oh man, I deal some serious damage. Is he dead? Hold on, let's back up real quick. So we're at their entrance, and I probably need to ping if I want to know how many are here. Yeah, we'll do that real quick. Oh, there's going to be a lot of them. Hopefully they'll pay me a decent amount. I've also got flashbangs too. Hell yeah. That's going to let me really tear them up. All right, I'll switch back over to my shotgun. Oh, come on, hit him. That's okay. Let's go back. I'm going to watch out because if they all shoot at me, I'm going to take a lot of damage. So I might as well move around a little bit. Just to keep it kind of tricksy, you know? There's another flashbang. As long as I just take out a few at a time, I'll be alright. There we go. Got her. She's out of here. Let's move back around. Imagine a guy just coming out of nowhere, punching all of your friends to death. Oh. Nice weapon you have there. Oh, she's able to see. Hold on. I got her. All right, she's out. Let's move back and jump again. I might need a ping once it wears out. Because knowing where they're at really does help me out. Oh, hell yeah. All right, get away from me. And he's dead. Oh, but you're not dead. There. Your fit has changed today. You don't get to shoot at me, pal. You know what? I'm going to buy more flashbangs. They're great. I feel like I've killed most of them. And what a great place for me to fight in, too. It's hard for them to actually see me. I can bob and weave around. Let's ping again. Alright, so we're looking at, what, two more? Hold on. There's another up here. I don't want anyone ambushing me. You don't get to do that, pal. And he's out. All right, let's switch back over to one of my guns real quick. I see you. Yeah, he's right over there. Got him. Now, one more. I mean, there could be another goon around, but it doesn't really matter to me. 
That music makes me feel like I'm about to see a giant monster pop out of a freaking lagoon or something. Whoa. There we go. Nice pad, by the way. And he's out of here. We did it. Job done. I got a new perk, and I'm going to take some time to loot everything here. There's a lot for me to pick up. That felt really cool, though. I'm going to keep on punching people today. It's really cathartic, you know. Here's a text from Judy. What's it about? Hey, Barry Dev today. Thought you might want to know. How do you feel? Can't be good. I intend to get the early shit face today, and I really can't blame you. I hope she's going to be okay. We're going to have to look out for her for sure. Our lives are now intertwined, you know. All right, so now we just need to wait for Takamura. He's taken a bit. It's been roughly a full day. Maybe he's doing a comedy routine. I don't know. He seems to be pretty proficient in that field. B, the information from Okada-san, very valuable. I also learned something through my own efforts. We must meet. Where will it be this time? Trash processing plant, deserted end cart station. In the south of Japan town, there is a street market. It is on the footbridge above the main street. Use the elevators. It is easy to get lost. I am on my way there. Do not make me wait. Yeah, I could do that. Let's head on back and meet up with him. Man, what a day. It's about to get a little bit more dramatic, too. Oh, he sent me a few texts, too. Bazaar is on the upper level quite high, so it is worth using the public elevator. I think there are two. The fox sneaks into the chicken coop with its own tail between its teeth. <laughs> more code? B, do not be a fool. This is a serious matter. Will you come? Fine. Over here. Hello, V. Okako Okada. You do not think she will betray us. I hope not. I don't know if she would or would not. We're just going to have to find out. We have no choice. All right. Let's get over here now. I do not understand. Does Arasaka not have enough of its own people? Look around, sir. Things are heating up in the city. <laughs> He's got the gift of the gap. Can't be denied. But I need to steal your buddy for a sec. What are you? Why? What are we doing here? You shall learn soon. Alright. I acquired some information of my own. Do you know who most wish to honor Arasaka-sama with the parade? His murderer. The irony makes me sick. Your nobu's a smart little muffin. Putting on the parade to show off his attachment to Arasaka, its values. And to solidify his legitimacy. He is shrewd. I will not deny that. Japanese heritage is one element. Yorinobu will also put on a display of power. The floats are sure to be beautiful, but the wise and I will see in them a hidden message to his foes. What message would that be? I am here, Gumin Domo. Watch your backs. Not one for subtlety, is he? Still don't see how this gets us anywhere. I have had an idea. Look to the sky. The dash floats will pass precisely this way. If I could just get onto Hanako-sama's float, I could speak with her in private. Get there how? Why jump? Of course. Expectations way too high, Goro. Couldn't pull that off even if you still had your fancy implants. I have thought of a solution. While you are occupied with your shady dealings, I learned more about the floats. They are all kept in one place, Arasaka Industrial Park. It is there that they prepare them. We need only to break into the compound, find the right float and inject a virus into its system. You will then be able to disable any security before I sneak inside. Lots of ways to skin this particular cat, you know. Gonna need... I know what you need. It is taken care of. I have an infected shard. It was not cheap, but the man who sold it to me guaranteed it will work. Where'd you get this shard? Across the canal. Kabuki? <laughs> Might actually be half-decent soft then. And if it isn't, got a few tricks up my sleeve too. This is good to know. 
Yeah, hand it over. Let us move on. To take control of the float is one thing, but not all. The security concerns me, the snipers especially. I will be an easy target. But I may have an answer. Okada-san mentioned the city cameras. If we gain access to them, we will see exactly where the snipers are. You can deal with them as I advance. I think I see where this is going. Got me doing all the dirty work. Do you wish to trade places? What exactly would you say to her? Hello, my name is V. Hanako-sama knows me. Only I can do this. Yeah, fine. And now, what would you say to a small test? We must try the shard. The camera control room is in front of us. You must get inside and infect the network. That is all. Uh-huh. And in the meantime, you'll do what? Crack open a can of suds? I will not touch alcohol. At work. I will watch your back. Now, get to it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll go do all the work. Not a problem. Good thing I'm strong. Alright, another point. Hold on. Need to go spend my perk point over here. As you can see, I've been putting a lot into my brawling as of late. I can't help it. I mean, it really helps me damage people quickly. Over here, even more damage. I feel like I've got a sufficient amount. You know what? Why don't we get rush? Okay, my attacks with blunt weapons will regenerate 3% of my health over 2 seconds. Yeah, not bad at all. Alright, now what do we have in here? Ooh, I like that. Sex and Chrome. Pretty much a lifestyle of Johnny, you know. I don't need to climb one down. I've got implants. My knees are going to be okay. Let's grab one more little data packet. There we go. Now to install a bit of software. Done. Who knew that I could be a hacker so easily? Just gotta plug in, man. Fucking worked. Cool. That worked on. Alright, let's go tell Takamoto now. I thought that would be a little bit more involved, but it wasn't. And? Two bit thief, ain't I? Keep saying so yourself. Not without reason. The shot works. Good. The easy work we have done. To break into Arasaka Industrial Park will not be such a bed of roses. But before we discuss that... Yeah, sure. Oh, he wants to eat food. Okay. Sit. I have not eaten since yesterday. Give me the best on the menu. I highly recommend the uh, yakitori today. Okay. Anything that isn't local, please. I wouldn't mind having some sashimi, but maybe not here. <laughs> Let's keep it to cooked food if it comes from a little market stall out here in Night City. Can't believe I'm saying this, but this Saka scum might actually prove useful. He's a well-trained dog, needs orders, that's all. And when he outlives his purpose, we'll flatline him. Damn, Johnny, calm down. He's not on his A-game, sure. Even without implants, he could decommission us easily. Where's that come from? Ever seen him in action? No, just no. From the way he walks, look in his eye. We'll come back to this later. I mean, he's a veteran, you know. We've got to watch what him. What is this? Hey, yakitori. Okay. I have laid the plan. One, we break into Arasaka Industrial Park. One and a half, we hack Hanako-sama's float. Two, during the parade, with my help, you eliminate any snipers. Three, I get onto the float. Four, I convince Hanako-sama of the truth. Forgot five. Oda zeroes us and pisses on our corpses. You will never be less than a foot away from Hanako. Oda would not dare raise his hand against me. What about me? That is a different matter. 
I would advise you to watch your distance. Well, sounds like a suicide run, but done dumber shit than this, so... Things even more stupid than stealing from Arasaka. None dumber yet, no. Set the bar pretty high with that one. Now, we part. Reconnaissance is required. You're a stranger in a strange land. I'm going with you. Hmm, true. And you with your hands, skills, mind of a thief. Agreed. This we will do together. Yeah, we're a team right now. Cook! Louder! Louder! I have decided to you already know that. Out of our In the flesh. Night City security forces. President Myers has he eliminated the last obstacle the between Force. himself and the complete power. The they surrendered it to him. Tell me then, what do we call the murder of my father? Was that not a provocation? Was that not a... Arasaka, an empire built to last. Before Yorinobu set fire to it from the inside, all of this began with him. The factions, power strugglers, all of this. Ksa! Old man's death must have really fed the flames between the different factions. That is exactly what happened. And what's the balance of power look like now? Kiji longs for stability. The old order. They are united behind Hanako-sama. The liberal wing, Hato. Support Michiko-sama. Saburo's granddaughter. I know little about her. And then there is Taka. Treacherous dogs who support Yorinobu. Not to mention even smaller factions. Tell me about them some other time. Where's Yorinobu's rebellious streak come from? No one knows this. Perhaps soon I shall ask him in person. Why'd Saburo tolerate it all? Can't get my head around it. Could've kept his son on a short leash. Arasaka-sama was a strong and disciplined man. The strongest man I have ever known. And yet, at a critical moment, he showed a weakness. For Yorinobu? For his daughter. When Yorinobu formed his band of hounds, declared war on his own family, Arasaka-sama could have crushed him with one word. Yet he did not, for he did not wish his daughter to suffer. When Yorinobu returned, his tail between his legs, she persuaded her father to give him a second chance. Do you understand? Hanako-sama saved Yorinobu from the consequences of his deeds. Feels like that's about to change. Long as we get Hanako to believe our version of events. Conscience could also come into play. Assuming she's got one. We must reach her first. Will you join me? Sure, why not? Let us go from here. I hope you enjoyed it. Please come again. So dust and plastic. You know what? I'll eat it. I'll be a nice guy. There. I'm all full now. Come. I have found a good place to observe. I mean, he's got to be good. He was the bodyguard of the head of Arisaka. Pardon me. We must just climb up here. Oh no, you're like Liam Neeson from Taken. You've got skills, but you can't climb a fence very fast. Oh well. Now, this way. Yep, lead the way. Oh, there's a guard right there. No one that we need to worry about. Fortune smiles to us. It seems no one is here today. Yeah, that's a good thing. I mean, they're close, but not here exactly. Rancho Coronado. So we're in a new area now. Alright, let's go up. His plan, to me, is insanity. We're doing all that just for him to talk to one person. 
who might not even listen to him. I have no idea what's going to come next. I really have no clue. It might work out. It might not. Give me danger. Updated. Let's follow him again. I would call this a beautiful view of the city. If... If... If there was anything to admire. Damn, Takamura. Hate Night City that much. Hmm. Perhaps I am simply homesick, as you say. Now, you must look for vulnerabilities, weaknesses, while I try to think of a diversion. Arasaka cannot discover our intentions. A bit of sabotage is just what we need to divert their attention. I got you. you Check will have that the out. the best view on the left. I will try here. This old scope should be good for something. Shall we begin? Oh, can you run and grab the pizza? Take out the food? No, just no. <laughs> if I had time and ingredients, I would prepare some onigiri with cod or with grilled salmon. I understand. He looks so offended. As food? No. No, even better. With umeboshi plabs. Mmm, Arasaka-sama's favorite appetizer. Simple, tasty, and filling. I found him chewing once, pride on his face. It was a protein bar. Saburo Arasaka with a protein bar? Get out of here. Like a true soldier. Okay. Okay, enough. What well, we'll both grow hungry. Let's do this. Let's have a look. Now, what do we have over here? Got eyes on the comm system. It's a lot of guards. I could use comms for a diversion. And over here? Antenna. Security hub is liable to be in that building. Perfect for sabotage. Looks like a service tunnel by the road there. It could lead to the warehouses. footbridge but it's guarded we will use it to enter if there's no other way this is not bad all right transformer by the wall see it we should use it to step up hold on now i'm not quite done armored door seal tight i'll try a few more scans around here camouflage turrets by the gate a last resort. I do not wish to die there. Pipes. See him? We could use them to get inside. Now I wonder, did I get it all or most of it? I think I got most of it, yeah. Oh wait, here we go. Trucks drive up regularly. Are we to hijack one? We could do that, yeah. Alright, outside of the trucks, I think I got pretty much all of it. Looks good to me, yeah. I think I've seen everything. We have what we came for. So, we going in? Hmm. Is this what you said before entering Kampiki Plaza? I wish to be certain. We have not overlooked anything. We should wait and observe. If nothing out of the ordinary happens, then yes, we go in. in. Sounds sensible. Better get comfy. Yeah. I'll sit on a few bags of cement, why not? <coughs> what? what? No sudden movements. Do you see it? That cat? Fine looking feline. Thought they'd all disappeared from the city. It is the first animal I see in Night City. Except cockroaches, of course. First it was birds. Then dogs. Cats actually put up a fight longest. Perhaps it is a back in echo. Back in echo? What's that? It is a cat spirit. It brings misfortune. Can restore the dead back to life. Feline ghost? Suppose anything's possible. My grandmother knew many, many stories about Kitsune, Kappa, Bakeneko too. 
Miss Holm? A foolish question. I am from the slums of Chiba 11. Once when I was desperate to leave there, I... Ah, bad memories washed away by time. I long only for the simple days of childhood. My childhood? Let's see. Nights spent looking for a star. Any star. All dimmed by city lights. Silent lullabies sung by the flickering neon signs of Charter Hill. I remember the chemical stench of the canal, where we boys washed our shirts. Corporate transporters sometimes passed through our slum. Arasaka selecting children, but only the clean ones. Let me guess. So they could turn them into Corvo soldiers? Exactly. When they chose me, I felt I had won the lottery. In the army, I was given everything I lacked before. Discipline, regular meals, and when I proved I was gifted, an education. So how's a Corpo rookie go from cleaning latrines to being Saburu Arasaka's bodyguard? The highest grades at the academy, service in the special forces, and Arasaka-sama's unmatched eye for talent. You're not saying Saburo fell for you at first sight. To make the right decisions with imperfect knowledge, that is how you become the world's most powerful man. 100 candidates standing at attention. And Arasaka-sama looked into each of our souls and chose the one who would serve him best. Did what you had to to keep from going hungry. I sense that you judge me, and yet you have no right to. Unlike you and your friend Mr. Wells, I was not arrogant. I did not take the easy path. Saying you got no dirt on your hands? There are no clean hands, but it is important how they become dirty. So Spill, how'd you sully yours? Arasaka gave me what no one else could. Values I could honor, live for. This was most important. You dirty your hands for money. I in the name of principles. Wasn't judging you. And true, you oppose the corporations, their order, their world, in a mindless way, yet you offer no worthy alternative. Take a look around. It's here, your corporate world in its glorious splendor. You show me filthy streets as if no other world exists, as if nothing else is possible. What of the millions who work for Arasaka and receive stability, safety? The Chiba 11 slum rats? They're there, scraping scraps out of scop tins. Corpse decided that, too. We cannot fix everything at once. Forgetting I was at Arasaka, saw how Corpse operate. It wasn't roses and rainbows. And you know what? Nobody owns me. I'm free. You should try it. Sometimes I wish to become a nomad, to leave this world, forget everything. Nomads aren't lone wolves with egos. Whether they're blood or not, family comes first. Yes, but we need not quibble over details. Do you know what I think? What's that? That day in Kompeki, we both have lost someone important. And we are not at peace with this. So we seek conflict, argue eagerly. Finally started to make some sense. It is the duty of the living to atone for the dead. Hanako-sama shall aid us in our mission. Or she'll make sure we die for good. 
Baganenko got sick of us, looks like. It will find its own way. As will we. Yeah, sure. I think it is time to do something. Hmm? Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, get, get worse. worse. You do not look so bad. I feel pretty rough for sure. All right, let's go back down now. He's not a very good listener at all. <laughs> I think he just wanted me to listen. You understand that now. I feel like I told him more than I've told any of my other friends around here. Jackie, too. All right, let's get back down. It's a rainy, rainy night, and there's going to be a lot of drama, I think. Give me danger? Man, I've had enough danger. That's my everyday life, you know. Oh, boy. I wonder if he's going to make it, though. I've got two dead friends already, and who I have left? Judy. I have Judy, and that's really it. Huh. He's all I got. Down we go now. All right, let's get inside now. Shouldn't take me too long. I'll be in touch. The diversion reaction. Yeah, that sure. You have fun doing that. It won't take me long to get inside. All right, one more jump, and I'm in. That was it. I'm in. Good. Now try to enter the warehouse. I will draw their attention away. Okay. I'm gonna head in here first. I should be all right. Yeah, he's Had not looking right. that way. Got an access point to the security systems. Excellent. I am also making progress. Where am I going to move you? I guess I'll move you down below. Sure. Got him. Now I wondered, what do we have down here? Another door. That could be a decent way inside, yeah. But before I go. Let's go see if we can do anything to make our jobs a little bit easier. And I'll take what I can. I did hear another guard, so we'll go take him out. Oh no, he might be too powerful for me. He's T-posing for dominance. Nah, we'll get rid of him. Later, pal. I can't let you live. You would become too powerful. Oh, have a look at that. Nice. A perk shard, so I get a free perk? That's really cool. Don't need everything here. I can always come back later, I suppose. Or I can assume. All right. Well, let's get inside real quick. There's got to be something I'm able to do here. First off, I'll hack, because I've not done that for quite some time. We need a good 1C somewhere. That didn't work out. Let's see, what else do I need? 55. Let's keep on moving. Ah, here we go, 1C. Now I need a 1C again. I'm going for data mine 3. Now I need a 55. And we're good. I got 2 out of 3. Nice. Okay. But now I just need to use it. Perfect. Local network. Turn off. Sweet. That should help a lot. Special delivery. Little bro, I've had it up to here with this operation. Huh. Let's see. As a snazzy reward, I'm sending you some top shelf tech. Nice. Container 667. Well, if I have time, I'll check it out. I want to stay focused on my job, though. Let's go back down. Getting inside was really, really easy. But of course, I mean, that was only step one. Now we have a lot more to do. I just need to not be seen, and I need to do a lot of hacking. Here we are. Cool. Uh-oh. Hold on. Need to have a look at him. I can't tell if he's looking over here or not. That radio is probably helping me out. Here's another door. Okay, that leads out. I understand. No, he's not really looking my way. Good. In the oh. tunnel. It's tighter than a wetsuit in here. Reeks too. You will have fresh air once you reach the warehouse area. And he's out. I'm telling you, I'm in Metal Gear Solid right now. Oh man, I can hear that mech too. That's what I want to avoid right now. Their numbers have got to be quite high. I'll take that. Let's move quickly. I try to act decisively when I'm able to. Okay, I'm in. Hold on now. I need to turn that off real quick. 
largest float. They are controlled from inside. Yeah, no kidding. High tech. It could be an ordinary terminal. Gotcha. How's things at your end? Good. I will reach the control room and make a terrible mess. Very well. I am ready. Okay. When you finish, I'll make the system sick. Sounds good. Is there a guard in here? No, I don't see one. All right. I've got to open that door, don't I? Yeah. Cool. Am I hearing anyone? I don't really know right now. I should probably ping. Yeah, let's go ping real quick. I need to know if there's anyone close by. That'll keep me alive. Oh, yeah. There's someone very close by right now. All right, so after doing that, let's change it up real quick. Friendly mode. Don't bother me, guy. So, we're almost in there. Yeah, have a look at that. It's a little army. I'm jumping up. Don't mind me. What's over here? I have no fucking clue. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Uh oh, that person nearly saw me. I know there's a few more. We're going to do another ping again. Oh, that would be a decent distraction. I know that, but... They've got snipers, too. Alright, I'm getting closer. Not quite there yet. I don't need to panic. I just need to take my time. Holy shit, check that out. These are just wild to look at. Alright. Let's move over here. Their security isn't really that great, though. So that's a good thing. Someone nearly saw me. I do see one hacker now. Alright, I might need to get rid of him. Yeah, he's right over there. So, again, I need to ping if I want to get a good idea of where they're at. Let's have a look at him real quick. Wait. He's gone now. Alright. So we'll do one more ping. Come on. Oh! He's already there, yeah. And there's another guy right over here. I need to definitely take him out. If I can do it quietly, anyway. Let's try to. And I got him. So we're gonna bring him over here. Nope, I can't let you live. You could challenge me. There can only be one hacker, man. All right, so we're back inside. I should have marked him, but I didn't. So, to play it safe, we're going to have to get rid of him, too. Let's do it. It'll make me feel much, much better. We're going to bring him over to this corner. Hopefully, no one's going to find him. If they get that close, though, I'm sure they might find him. And we're in. Oh, boy. Kind of scary. Both stars to do with as we please. Fly to Tokyo if you want. Haha, <laughs> I just may do that. Good work. Now it is my turn. Can you see? Terrible chaos. Even the roof is slowly. Me, the roof. That is your will. There are buildings around. Smaller ones. Use them to come down. Okay. I can do that. But what are we going to do? We're going to ping. Because it's how I keep my information. Alright. Well, that was great. Holy hell. That was pretty much too easy. Now, when are things going to get really bad? You know they're going to get bad eventually. Oh, hell yeah. Fucking worked. Excellent work, B. Okay, what now? Now we retreat into the shadows and arm ourselves with patience. I will contact you before the parade. Until then, try not to get into any more trouble. As if I wasn't in enough already. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, we did our job, everyone. That was a lot of fun. Oh, man, Snake would be proud of me. All right. Thank you for watching. We've got more to do tomorrow. Until then.